Chess friends, how are you? In a clash of titans that transcends human prowess, the year 2023 witnesses an electrifying showdown between two masterminds of strategy, Alpha Zero and Stockfish 16. Today I will show you the epic chess battle between us. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have e6, this move will end in pick defense, so after playing some moves stuff, we have bishop e3, I want to put my king in queen side and push the king army to attack the black's king side, so after knight f6 we have f3, my f3 move supports the g4 h4 move, play castle in there and knight f2 is a future move, that's the reason why alpha played c6. He wants to develop his queen side to make some pressure and play knight d7. You're only here for a short visit, don't hurry, don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way, so in this insane chess match Alpha Zero decided to play castle, to strike in the center, so knight g5 b6 and I pushed forward my f pawn, I am preparing my army to attack black pawns, Alpha played knight g4 to target the bishop, my bishop is more important than your stupid knight so we have bishop g1, b5, that's a crazy move so I tried to kick out the knight first. And we have pawn exchanges on b5 square, knight here bishop e3 queen c7 to play knight c4, we have some 4000 elo rated moves, life is like a pet dog, if you love your life then life will love you back, we have first rook exchanges on c8, and I strike in the center with e5, pawn takes and if you take it with your d pawn then knight will come in d5, takes e takes f6, look at this position, everything will be fine, it is not that what I want, so in this position we have f takes e5. Creating pawn structure from left side to get open f file, it will target to the key pawn and bishop is targeting sensitive part of structure, so alpha played knight d5 to sacrifice the knight, any normal player would take the knight, let me show you the variation, takes takes f takes g7, black can play knight takes d1 so after takes, if you dare to take the pawn too then white will capture the pawn on e7, checkmate is coming with the supporting of the knight. Therefore you has to play room f8 then I will simply win up the bishop, so back to the position, I played castle, creating x-ray attack to the pawn, we have knight exchanges on e3, here if you play like a very ordinary person, for example if you try to save your knight then we will capture the f7 pawn, knight f8, bishop takes pawn, black king structure will be fall down, fool humans will capture the bishop, then I will play queen takes h5, my queen knight and rook is creating a checkmate pattern. So bishop e6 to target it but there is knight g5 to deliver checkmate in h7, knight f8 to protect it then we will sacrifice the rook, rook can't take the rook because of queen h7 checkmate so the king has to capture the rook, then knight takes e6. Check will come, the king will force to go g8, then queen g6 will destroy your king totally, checkmate will be unstoppable so back to the position, alpha is a smart guy so he knows everything, he played bishop e8 to sacrifice the knight, pawn takes f6 and the bishop takes the pawn is not possible as it may lead to unnecessary problems for the structure, so alpha takes it with pawn to adding extra layer to structure, we have knight f3 queen takes g3 check. Moving the king or blocking the check will create problems for my pawn and the light square diagonal, so I played queen g2 to protect my army, but alpha retreats the queen to play bishop c6, so I played knight h4 to play knight f5 to create problems for the structure, and now bishop c6 isn't possible because of d5, that's the reason why alpha played rook b8, knight d5 queen d8 rook e1, look at my aggressive pieces, they are causing a lot of problems for the black king since I opened the g and f files. We have rook takes b2 and I sacrificed my knight, takes takes, if you dare to take the bishop, let me show you the variation, queen takes bishop and I will threatening to play knight e7 check and rook e8 to fork the king and queen, so rook b8 to protect that square, rook e7 to mate in 1, queen f8 to protect it, so rook a7 to play knight check, rook e8 to protect that square but how do you protect that pawn, queen takes knight queen takes rook check, bishop blocks queen e4 to play queen h7 checkmate. So black has to play queen h6 to protect it, and I am totally winning here, I will get the rook pass pawn and so many advantages, so back to the position, we have bishop c6 to target the knight, rook to e7, the knight is unguarded and if you dare to take it, 
then I will play a bishop check, king g8 queen takes g7, check and mate, so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you can like and subscribe to my channel to give me support, back to the position, we have queen f8 queen to e2. Threatening to play rook e8 to pin the queen, if you play rook b8 to protect that square then we will simply capture the pawn, this is coming so bishop h6, rook f7 rook b1 check king f2, the queen is under attack and if you try to free your queen then we will give him a check, if you play king h8 then we will capture it and it will be a checkmate. Instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create, so back to the position, alpha 0 decided to play bishop takes d5, rook e8 to pin the queen, so after some moves later, I played bishop h7 check, sacrificing the bishop, you shouldn't capture it because there is queen takes h5 check and you will face much problems in light squares, so we have king h8, queen takes pawn, threatening to play bishop g6 then queen h7 checkmate, so wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.